Hi there, it's Umesh Damani here, and I just want to record this quick video for you. I had a, a, a Facebook message from someone, and they were asking me why I consider mindset to be so important for entrepreneurs. And I thought, whilst I'm typing out a reply to them on the computer, I might as well just record a video as well, because if one person is asking that question, then the chances are other people are asking too. So I'm going to do a very quick video for you. My camera's just flashing at me at the moment, which means that I think I'm about to run out of battery, so I want to record this really, really quickly. Um, I think having the right mindset is the number one quality, the number one attribute that every entrepreneur needs, above and beyond everything else. Okay, You could have a great product, you could have a great service, um, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee you success. It doesn't matter if you're just starting out in your bedroom, part-time or whether you've got a couple of people working for you. Um, the most vital element to ensure you succeed is this. It's your mindset and how you frame it. Okay, You need to have a strong, confident growth mindset that handles everyday pressures. It handles setbacks really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it reacts to certain situations in a way that allows you to keep moving on. Okay. At this particular stage, it's not about ego at all. This is about accountability. It's your business that you're looking to grow. Okay, So it's important to have that type of mindset which allows you freedom to explore opportunities, to create new strategies, to set new goals, and to keep changing them, and the ability to make crucial decisions as you grow your business. Okay, So that's the difference between having a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. A growth mindset will allow you to do all of those type of things. It's about, um, I guess it's about being able to cope really well with rejection. Now, I know that sounds really strange, but as part of your business, you're going to be testing new ideas and seeing what works, what doesn't work. And some things that you launch into market may not be received particularly well. You have to have a strong, resilient mindset to be able to cope with that and to just be able to accept it and move on. Okay, hope that makes sense. So as an entrepreneur, you need to have a flexible growth mindset that can easily adapt to changes. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. And a mindset that values wealth is great. However, it shouldn't necessarily be your driving force. Okay, a, a mindset that wants wealth but doesn't see it as the primary driver for your business is a type of mindset that will allow you to become a successful entrepreneur. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, that was just a quick video for you, um, just to clarify that question. And as and in, as in when I get more of these type of questions coming through, I'm going to just knock them out as a video as well, just to share that knowledge with other people in the hope that it helps. And um, in the meantime, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe to my channel below. There's a subscribe button there. And if you've got any comments around this particular topic or any other one for that matter, then stick them in the comments box. And if I can, I'll try and answer them for you. I'm happy to do that. It's not a problem at all. And uh, until next time, take care and have a great day. I'll speak to you soon. See you later.